Let's go on the record on cause number DC1915404, Ralph Lubin's time versus Richmond Trust. Council, make your appearances. Michael Tobolowski on behalf of the plaintiffs, Your Honor. Catherine Compton on behalf of the defendants. All right, so we're here on a motion to strike uh, expert, is that correct? It's, it's actually on a on objections and a motion to strike summary judgment evidence. I think there was a little confusion because one of those pieces of evidence is the defendant's expert report. Um, and I, I, we have, if the court recalls, we've actually had a hearing on the motion to strike the expert report. And I believe uh, the court took that issue under advisement and was prepared to rule on it down the road. So what are we hearing today exactly? I'm confused now. So today, Your Honor, the setting was supposed to be for plaintiff's objections to the defendant's summary judgment evidence. And I've already ruled on the summary judgment. You have, Your Honor. What happened was uh, when the court was considering all of the proposed orders that were submitted prior to the summary judgment hearings, uh, there was a note made in the record that uh, where your honor put in a little comment that said may need a hearing on the summary judgment objections. So we inquired uh, with the court clerk and just went ahead and set it for hearing. Where did you see, did I handwrite that or? No judge, it's on the docket sheet. Hmm. It, I, I believe it's still there. If, if um, you want me to pull it up, I can. Yeah, go ahead and pull it up. I, seem, I don't remember ever doing that. At any point of my career as a judge, but let me see, <laughs> it's possible. And your honor, we did submit proposed orders based upon, you know, regarding everything. So that is before the court. But have I already signed the orders or no? I don't. I don't believe so, Mr. Tobolowski. Do you know? I, your honor, I think you've signed all of them. The only exception being the order on the defendants. The remainder of the defendant's motion for summary judgment. That's the only one I, that I don't believe was signed. You mean on the objections? No, I mean on your actual on the summary judgment. Okay. The, the partnership issue. Mm -hmm. um, here you go. I've got it right here. Because it looks like on 1026, I signed an order on defendant's cross motion for partial summary judgment. Oh, that's not an that's not a note for me. That's my coordinator. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, I know that you can see it's a note from the administrator, not a note from the judge. So uh, that that doesn't. It's not your fault. Um. So yeah, I, I don't need a hearing on this, and at this point, so. But if there's something we might need to chat about, we can. No, no, Your Honor. We were just trying to make sure that uh, we had we had object or rulings on our objections to the summary judgment evidence, since there was a, a decent amount of them. So, if <laughs> necessary, um, then I I don't believe there's anything else on our end. When are you all set for trial? March second. Um. Is it a jury or non-jury? Jury. jury. So one thing you guys might want to think about, you can talk, you guys don't seem to agree very often on stuff, at least what I've seen, but <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Maybe this will be a change. Uh, is is there a Robin B that's affiliated with this case? That's one of the yes. plaintiffs, Your Honor. Okay. So um, I don't know if you've had a chance to watch the uh, virtual trial we've done in the 68th. Uh, it's on my YouTube page. You're welcome to watch it if you'd like. Uh, it's a simple car wreck case. Um, you know, obviously, I don't know what's going to happen with the pandemic or how this is all going to work or kind of what what's. But one option is uh, possibly in this case would be to do this trial remotely, especially if you have some folks who are a little bit older, uh, who may be uh, in more of a susceptible population. Uh, 
you know, I'm not at this point, I'm not going to require you to do a remote trial, but if you don't agree to a remote trial, this could put this trial off for quite some time, uh, you know, depending on how the pandemic evolves. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of plant that seed. If you're interested, both of you want to do a remote trial, I'd be happy to, you know, talk to you about it in more detail, or if you, uh, you know, it, I don't think it's worth it yet to reset that, even if you don't agree to a remote trial, but the likelihood that that, that trial is going to go as a live trial on March 2nd is pretty low, as an in-person trial. I mean, not a live trial, but an in-person trial. I will definitely discuss it with my clients, Your Honor, and, and circle up with Ms. Compton to see if we can have our first possible agreement in the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking now that he's married, he might just like be totally happy and he'll agree to everything. <laughs> <laughs> did you just get married, Mr. Tobolowski? I did, Your Honor. I did back in uh, October. Made it, we made it a date I couldn't forget. So it was 10, 15, 20. <laughs> did, has he been more agreeable since then, Ms. Compton? Oh, well, we haven't spoken, so it, it's been very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, there is one one thing, Catherine, that we may bring up now. We, you and I may need to circle up first, but that's mediation. Mm -hmm. Back at the very beginning of the case, the we actually had reached an agreement uh, that <laughs> neither of us thought mediation was going to do any good. I don't really know that that position has changed very much. The parties had attended. You guys are going to need to go to mediation one way or the other. So... Uh, especially on a case like this, I'm going to want you to go to mediation. So y'all haven't gone yet at all. There was a priest to mediation. Uh, Catherine, what year was it? Was it in 2019? It was before the lawsuit was filed. Yeah. I can't remember the exact date, but it lasted about an hour. So it was not, I was not involved at that time, but no. it took place and did not end up being successful. When, when do you guys, uh, who, who, who do, who do we want to use as a mediator? It would have to be somebody very strong for both sides. <laughs> Ashworth would be a good fit for this case, Your Honor. He's not, he wouldn't be bad. What, what do you think of him? I, I've not had Judge Ashworth. I was sort of thinking of Chris Nolan. <laughs> He's Chris pretty Nolan difficult. is also a fantastic mediator. I like mm -hmm. him as well. Uh, I think he'd be a good, I think both of them are good for real estate and partnership type issues. So I think they'd be a good fit for the case. Could we ask, I would like the opportunity to ask my client since he's also an attorney and I don't know if he's dealt with them, but just, you know, and maybe we can reach an agreement on one is of them. Is that Mr. Time? My client is Mark Richmond. Oh, Mr. he's Tom. not on the phone? No, Your Honor. Or on the Zoom. Um, well, why don't we do this? Uh, why don't we go ahead and appoint Chris Nolan uh, unless the parties agree otherwise? And uh, Rhonda, go ahead and prepare that for, uh, it needs to be done by uh, February 15th. But if you wanna to agree to someone else, that's okay with me, but uh, I think Chris would be good. I don't know how busy he is now, but I know in the past he has been so busy, it sometimes takes a while to get into him. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think he's quite as busy as he used to be, but uh, you might want to reach out to him today. I can do that, Your Honor. Anything else, guys? No, and should we, um, when we talk to our respective clients about whether we want to uh, have a Zoom trial, should we just uh, call Rhonda or prepare an advisory to the court, or how would you like us to do that? So what I want, if you guys both agree, if there's an agreement about it, then yes, I want to know as soon as possible because this is, it is, there is more planning and logistics to go into a remote trial than a in-person trial from the court standpoint. So we would need to kind of do some planning and know when, you know, kind of start working on that. Uh, and, and one other thing, if you do agree, and let's say in, by March 2nd that the vaccine has miraculously cured everybody and we're not having to do remote trials, and we would obviously not force you to do a remote trial that wasn't necessary, uh, but 
we would need to know if you agree. If you don't agree, you know, don't don't worry about letting us know because we really don't know what's going to happen on March second. It just means uh, it just means in all likelihood that we'll, you'll probably get reset to sometime in probably twenty twenty two. Is my guess. Wow. Your Honor, how did you feel like it went? I saw a little bit of it on YouTube. I thought it went well. You know, for a first trial setting, uh, we got a verdict. We we picked a jury. I learned a lot in it, just like you do. It kind of it's kind of like doing your first trial as a judge. You're like, oh wow, okay. I see why judges do that, and I see why they do. You know, and you figure out what works and what doesn't. Uh, I think. You know, this, how long would this case take to try? We haven't really talked about that. Depends on how many witnesses, I mean, we're allowed to have in the narrow scope of the trial. So it could be a week or two weeks, depending on what you allow. I mean, you know, that would be a little challenging. Uh, the, the first case we tried was just a, you know, a little car wreck case. Uh, we, You know, a case like this would be a little more challenging, but a little, it's a little more challenging in person. Um, so I, I don't know. I, I thought it went remarkably well, considering it was our first one. Mm -hmm. uh, but some people, uh, I also understand this is a big case and it's complicated and there's a lot of issues. I'm not going to hold it against you if you decide you don't want to do it, but I also just want you to know that that we are so backlogged we haven't had a jury trial now in nine months that the likelihood you guys you guys are going to you're, you're probably you're probably going to hopefully going to get tried by sometime in 2022 if you okay. don't agree to a vote so just i don't know if there's any rush to, to you guys on trying to get this resolved or you kind of want to you know you enjoy working with each other and so <laughs> we'll kind of drag this out indefinitely uh, but uh, a remote trial would allow you to go go quicker. I have done in some cases uh, what I call the hell or high water rule, which is we re like I have a very big case uh, with great lawyers on both sides that had been reset over and over and over. And one side really wanted to go to trial no matter what the format. The other side didn't want to go to trial no matter what the format was. So I said, okay, on June 7th of 2021, hell or high water, we're gonna to go to trial, whether it's remote, whether it's hybrid or whether it's in person. Um, you know, this case is not quite as old as that case. And yeah, this is case is definitely not as old as that case. So, but I could do, we could do kind of a hell or high water date that on this day, we're gonna try this no matter what the format is. And if you guys wanted to, do something like that we could do that it wouldn't be march 2nd it would have to be some day later than that but uh, it might you know give you kind of a middle course between resetting it to 2021 or you know doing a remote trial right away mm -hmm. does that make sense mm -hmm. yes. do y'all have any questions no your honor i believe so judge i think that's it all righty. Will you guys be safe? And uh, we will uh, we'll hopefully see you soon, okay? Thank, Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.